Now, their Golden Pin lanes for the Tucson PBA Open. Bob Vespi, the Floridian, against the Texan Ron Williams of Fort Worth. Key to this match, Chris, is how Vespi starts in number two if he has trouble on the right-hand lane where he must finish. Good break. He's had uh, 24 strikes in his three victories. Now make it 25. Chris, and he's 16 for 16 on the left-hand lane, 100% for Vespi pocket percentage. Now Williams with just a solid all-around style, a good mixture of accuracy and power. And uh, the tournament leader answers right back, Bo. Chris, kind of the, what well, we said last week, the Miller Barber of professional bowling. Look where his arm is out here. But however, watch how he realigns it and drives straight through the shot. Inside out at the back. And when you look at the last half a step, it's absolutely perfect. And that's all that counts is he just saws the rack in the opening frame. Two games on this championship pair, he averaged 251. Get up. Leaving a 2-5. All right, the left-hand lane hooks a little more. He tried to play a little farther left, and it didn't work. He got in the, the oil area of the lane instead of getting it out in the extreme drive near the edge. Leaves the 2-5. Has to avoid the chop of the 2 off the 5. No. For a moment, it, it was a little anxious. Ron Williams, the 30-year-old from... Fort Worth, 24-year-old, giving away six years in age, a scrapper named Bob Vespi. bit of Lee Trevino on this young man. You bet, Chris. Very confident, and uh, he's very happy with that shot because he struggled on the right-hand lane. Now, Ron Williams, the higher finisher in the tournament, decided to have Vespi finish on that lane for two reasons. One, Vespi has struggled on that lane, and number two, Williams figures he can hit the left-hand lane a little bit better for himself. However, right now, a 20-pin lead can be achieved by Bob Vespi if he gets a third consecutive strike. Three from the top from the championship matches, whereas our tournament leader, Ron Williams, is one and one. He has two PBA titles in his 10 years on tour. First title was in 1988, the Bud Classic. Then he won the AC Delco and Torrance at Gable House. I have bowled for the championship on this TV pair, Chris, a decade mm -hmm. ago, and that is the key pin for a style like Ron Williams, who's very similar to mine, is to flip the 10 pin out on the right-hand lane. If he can do that, he will stay in the match. However, if he keeps missing it, Vespi will run away. Ron Williams, he attributes his recent hot streak to some special outside help. Well, boy, in September of last year, I met with a uh, sports psychologist, and uh, she helped me, help me, help my outlook on the game and how to improve on it, and not to beat myself and not to, not to give uh, too much self-criticism, but to give yourself positive uh, uh, statements to make towards your, towards your game and, and help you help get that winning attitude. Not like that. However, everybody's struggling on the lane that Bob Vespi has loved. Vespi, 17 for 17, 100% strike percentage in his three-plus games. And right now, an interested spectator looks on as Ron Williams, his wife Bonnie, hopes he can convert the 1-2-4-10 washout in the fourth. So it's an open frame for our tournament leader, 64 through the fourth, trailing by 36. This 24-year-old is in the fourth match of the afternoon. Three wins, 
needs a victory here to get his first PBA national title. Bob Vespi, three in a row, fourth frame. Well, he would have loved to have that one to extend his lead, but he'll have to think about it. And he has avoided the open frames as he's averaged 249 for his first three games. And if a Vespi can avoid the open frames, nobody will stay with him. Let's see what happens. There's still six big frames left for the championship. Perfect on that spare shot. Best be amazingly consistent this week, Chris. There was a five-game sweeper held before the term the pros even got here uh, for the regular tournament. Best be won that sweeper with a 12.44 score, a 2.48 average to feed all the other pros. Here he's averaging 2.49, going for the title. Sweeper is basically everybody bowls five games, no match game. It's metal play. Whoever gets mm -hmm. the highest score wins. bespy has been the winner in that. Let's see if he can take it all in 42 plus games. Thank <laughs> you. 